I'm sorry, but now all I can think of when I see the word crawfle is crotch waffle. <laughs> Hello, human beings. My name is Comedian. I took a week off for a family thing and I came back and I was disappointed to find out that my name is still Comedian. So I'll keep you posted on that one. Still Comedian for the time being. Today is Patreon Thursday. It's the special, hoppy, magical day of the week when my patrons get to pick out a video for me to react to. Subscriber Saturdays also fulfills that thing, but I'm not doing that this week. I just don't have the time. But next week, if you want to take part in that, make sure you're subscribed. Um, so if you want to take part in this though, go and join my Patreon links in the description. This week my patrons pick some more crack because apparently they're as big into crack as I am, which is shocking. This time around, it's the very snazzily named title, BTS Young Line Acting Like the Parents of the Maknae Line, which is redundant. I mean, Google SEO and keyword speaking, you've got the word line in there twice, which is craziness. Four parents, three kids. So. I don't know what to think because I thought Sugar was like the dad, but apparently all of them are the dad, or the, all the dads are the dads. And I thought it was a given, like, if they're older, they're going to take care of them, they're going to look after them, feed them, clean their nappies. Yeah, that's too far. Anyway, before I say anything else incriminating, let's just get this going. Thank you for watching and everything. Subscribe and stuff. And yeah, get comfy. Let's go. Oh my goodness, the music keeps going. Turn on the CC. Should I do that? Or is it going to be default English? I guess we'll see. Lots of CCs. Scrolling through BTS pictures. OMG, Hobie's sweatshirt is adorable. I need it. This again. Where can I get this? <laughs> see, this happens all the time with their clothing. Fashion chain. I actually, I feel like BTS yeah. and their sponsors of Mr. Trick, they, they should be sponsored by someone like Down to Earth, like, like Primark or H&M uh, or, or like TK or TJ Maxx. Because apparently TK and TJ Maxx, if you live in one country or another, it's going to be called TK or TJ. And now why is it that TK Maxx is TK Maxx in the UK, but in America it's TJ Maxx? Is it that it was originally an American brand and they tried to bring it to UK and people were like, TJ? That's, a, that's too American of a name. That sounds like recess up in here. I don't know. Anyway, but they should be sponsored by a more normal, let me adjust the audio a little bit, a more normal and down-to-earth clothing brand because nobody can afford the clothes they wear. It's like a missed opportunity. I mean, sure, if there's like billionaire BTS stands out there, if Jeff Bezos is secretly a BTS stand, he's ordering all the clothes they're wearing, no problem. But the rest of us suckers are having to buy knockoffs or just nothing at all. And there it is. They have so many other K-pop groups. <laughs> there it is, but you didn't really explain the price that much when I glossed over that. Because I feel like when I've looked at these knockoff places, they're still, <laughs> it's still kind of out of my price range, which is really depressing. Anyway. Is he holding a flip phone that he's broken? What is that? Or is he holding a pipe? I'm so distracted by what he's holding. It looks like he's holding an old-fashioned pipe. He's like, yes, yeah, yeah, the hook's broken, son. Don't touch that. <laughs> this is just fire safety. I don't think you have to be someone's parent to be like, don't put your hand inside the steaming column of fire. <laughs> This is loud. This is a loud video. <laughs> Hitman Bang's health and safety team is behind the camera freaking out. Signing out forms and filling out waivers. The man's just... What is this? It's like he's filming an X-Men video. He's just got his hand in fire. It's like one of those, you know, when you see like one of those stuntmen who's just like doused in petrol, just chilling. You don't have to cut sideways. Turn yourself sideways? <laughs> V's expression. That is classic V. I, I'm not even sure if he was talking to him, but the fact he was talking around him about you have to make tempura about it. He was like, Make something. <laughs> it, 
Can they though? Oh, so sorry, you're bonded. You're going to sell it. I can't get over that line. How do you cut sideways? Like, does this man exist on the x-axis only? <laughs> Thanks, chef. Make it thick. Sugar's a great teacher. He's patient. I'd like to think I'm a nice person, I'm good with kids, but I'm not patient. I get livid around people. <laughs> see, rather than being like, see at me, I'd be like, oh, this is Finn. This is Finn, you fucking imbecile. Whereas he's like, this is Finn. He's like giggling, he's smiling. He's good. He's good with kids. <laughs> What's a croffle? What's a croffle, chat? When he says cold crit, does he mean because it's going to be cold or because that was just. Was that bacon? <laughs> Croffles. Okay, I'm sorry, but now all I can think of when I see the word croffle is crotch waffle. You can't tell me it's anything else. I'm, it's a crotch waffle for some reason. Oh, a croissant waffle, okay. A croissant, what's a croissant waffle? Is it a waffle made of croissant batter? Interesting. <laughs> Eyes staring at his croffle. That's filthy. <laughs> Did you sleep well? That is a very parental thing to say. Wow, he's asking how he slept. He's giving me his leftover food. He's just looking after his baby. Do you want some milk? Luckily from... A carton. Oh, Jim's Jams 13. Love sent your way. Love inbound. Oh, this game. This game, I remember the challenge my sanity deeply at the time. That's not on the map. That's not how that works. No. No. That's like saying, oh, if the football is like on the line and the curve goes into the line, it's then a goal. Not how that works. <laughs> kids these days. When you find yourself saying kids these days, I've had to like dial back on that. You know, it's society, it's society pressure. I feel like you hit the age of thirty and suddenly you want to be like kids these days. <laughs> I often hump the floor if I'm disappointed. I'm constantly floor humping. <laughs> I love that game. I love that it translates to real life as well as it does to Mario Party. See, this is how you know it's an expensive bed, because because if a bed looks like you haven't put any duvet or sheet on it at all, it might actually be incredibly expensive. That's probably like the finest Egyptian cotton, because when a bed gets really expensive, it basically looks like you've bought, you know, the bare minimum and just put it, assembled it in the corner of the room. Oh, 
Let's Jimmy go, Jimmy Nin. Wake Jimmy up. <laughs> this really is like parents talking. Get Jim enough, he's gonna be late for school. <laughs> oh, some of these videos are like spot on for the title. Like more than I thought they would be, it's kind of concerning. <laughs> See, this is one of the many reasons it's, you know, it's a lot of commitment to become an idol and be taken away from your family. Because if you happen to be two to three years older than the other people in the, the band, you'll end up becoming their parents. By the way that, I guess, Korean, like, age hierarchy works. You know, that's a lot. It's a big commitment. Like, the three younger guys, sure, they do a lot of dancing and practicing and, and looking good and that kind of stuff. But the, the, the youngs, they also have to take care of some babies. Like, they've got parental roles as well. <laughs> He's in Tate Universe. V's looking like a member of TXT right now. <laughs> See that? This is one of the reasons why the movie, uh, oh, as I was saying it, I forgot it. Like it was in my brain and I forgot it. Ready Player One, that's it. That's why that movie doesn't work. I mean, it's a good movie. I really enjoyed it. But they managed to make VR and being in a virtual universe look cool. But you never look cool when you're doing VR. I mean, look at this. It's impossible to look cool. He looks like somebody who's in like rehab for a serious spinal injury. Like, it's, it doesn't look that cool. <laughs> yes, we are. Thank you for this delicious crack, Shogami. They look like parents at the school play. Yes. It's, it's, it's a mixture of concern, love, and, and respect and like pride, you know? Slight concern in their eyes, like, what if he messes up the school nativity play? Cauldron. Cauldron cooking, that's fancy. For eight? Who's the secret member of BTS? Is it me? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is he running over because he's like, no! See, the thing that always surprises me about this video is how good the quality is, considering some of the newer videos, terrible quality. Maybe it's because it's not copyright, so they don't have to crop it. But them going to the uh, graduation is adorable. <laughs> How adorable. <laughs> I, I feel proud watching them be proud. I'm, it's like a proud train. And I'm the steam engine. Like, oh. Like, oh, Sugar's smile there is a classic. Like, that's an image that's burned into your retinas if you watch any BTS content. <laughs> <laughs> oh, again, this is, that's one of the most parental clips. Go hang out with your friends, darling. We'll be here. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. He doesn't fuck with no clams. <laughs> That's why you want to get gluten-free pasta. It's a top tip. I never thought about this, but the, the pressure of planning a meal for four children. That's a lot. I mean, parents who have like four plus kids, they'll tell you. It's a lot to, 
to make a meal that makes all the kids happy. Okay, then let's do it. Come on, Sosei. Let's go. 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 The, like this is this is such a parental video. It's giving me like flashbacks to stuff from my childhood. Like, I've forgotten, as in like when you'd bring the, you know the, the supermarket shopping in and then be like, "Mom, should I leave some of this stuff out? Like, what are we having for dinner dinner tonight?" You know, like they're asking that question: which stuff should we leave out? I'd forgotten that was a thing. <laughs> Unless it's V. <laughs> Man, I really feel like BTS are kind of like me in the sense that like they need the structure, they crave the structure and they work so well as a family unit. I think that's probably why they'll never break up because like they just work so well together and, they, and like they say like even you know in 40 years if we start making music I hope we still hang out, I hope we're still friends because they need each other. It's like how me and like a, a 9 to 5 schedule or school like there was a lot of ways that school was banned for me and it was an awkward time but as far as like making me go outside be regular have stuff to do have you know mostly the outdoor thing occasionally doing physical exercise for pe you know like it, it makes you it regulates stuff it makes you do healthy human stuff and now i don't have that i live indoors and i become a mole person and it's definitely not as good so i feel like this is the same thing here like they're a family unit and it just works <laughs> Uh? All the sources, you know, all the sources in the world. <laughs> oh. If you show this to somebody who'd never seen BTS before, out of context, and said, oh, they're the parents, or like they're adopted parents, you wouldn't question it for a second. <laughs> this compilation is crazy. <laughs> It's like, Dad, can I borrow your car? It says for men on it, in case anyone was suspicious. I am a man and I use men products. Because <laughs> if you use lady cleanser on your face, it cleans all the man off you. And then you're left being like, ooh, -hoo, tee -hee. It, You gotta be careful with that stuff. <laughs> Makes me feel good to know that accomplished chefs like BTS microwave their rice. Because I feel like I had a, I had an epiphany a few years ago and I was like, okay, you know, I'm 29 or however old I was back then. I'm 28 now. I've got to start actually making rice properly. You know, it's not hard. It takes time. But all you have to do is just plan the meal out. Just start making it like 20 minutes before you want to start cooking or whatever. Didn't get round to it. Still microwaving my rice. Still, still doing that. So I feel bad about that. Like it shouldn't be hard, but it is. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Come on. You're Akali, yeah? Okay, Kim, Kim, don't answer. Kim, don't answer. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. They're looking at V like, why are you here in the kitchen? What can you possibly do for us here? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that was a nice gesture, but if you put more food in someone's mouth than their mouth can hold, it's kind of a dick move. You've got to be careful with that. Mold wine? Where's my invite? That's and I can make mold wine. That's one of the things I can make. Love mold wine. <laughs> They're like blocking up an entire fifth of the whole supermarket. People are starving behind them. Because they're having like a, a group meeting about what food to get. <laughs> it's okay. 
<laughs> is it going to be one of those kid things that you go on? Like a kid rocket. Oh, that reminds me. There's certain countries, a lot, I think quite often in mainland Europe, where a lot of the supermarkets will have like kid trolleys, which is like, why isn't that a thing in every country in the world? Because it makes kids want to go shopping and it makes them buy more stuff. It's like a genius capitalism invention because the kids then have their own trolley and they go around adding stuff. And obviously parents only have so much limit where they can be like, put that back, put that back. You know, it gets exhausting after a while. So the kids out there doing their own shop basically. But the best thing is as a kid, you have your own little tro trolley, it's got a little flag on it and you're racing down the aisles, like crashing into stuff. Like, I swear, you know what being a kid's like? like you know, going to France and Spain as a kid, I used to look forward to the trolleys, the little kid trolleys in the supermarket. It's like how I went to Thailand when I was um, 15. No, I went to, um, I don't know, earlier than that, I went to um, Bali when I was like 12 or something like that. And although the holiday was brilliant and, you know, I could tell it was amazing because I remember bits of it, which is like, I don't remember anything past like last week. Although the holiday was amazing, when I came back, you know, as a kid, all I talked about was the fact that the plane had movies and games on it in the back of the screen because that was like unheard of back then. Like that was my favorite bit of the holiday was the plane because it had a TV in it. And I feel like it's kind of the same thing with the trolley. So many Bon Voyage spoilers in this apparently. Luckily, nothing goes into my head, so... It's unspoiled, technically. <laughs> Those are still fun. I went on one in the UK back in September. Still fun. Actually, more fun now because I have some upper body strength compared to the nun I had as a kid. And I'm less terrified of the world, so I, I, I rode it the whole way rather than crying and falling off. <laughs> <laughs> we had to drag them away from the play park. That's a fancy looking dish. Just a nice packed lunch for the kiddos. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did move, didn't he? <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is this clip supposed to show Sugar being like exasperated by his kids? He's finally cracked and he's like, oh, just too tired for this. <laughs> That's a man that's up to no good. If somebody runs like this, they're up to no good. <laughs> That's a puppy. That is a puppy. Wow. Like, I knew it was one of those crack videos where I was like, oh, this title, you know, it's it's an instant win. It's an easy win. Like, you, you see them acting like parents a lot, but that was ridiculous. Like I said, during that, I had flashbacks to my own childhood, which is like, <laughs> that says a lot. <laughs> So yes, that video was lots of fun. A big thank you to Wenslip from my patron for suggesting that. If you would like to take part in these Patreon for Thursdays videos, a link to my patrons in the description. It's patreon.com slash comedian reacts. I've got exclusive Bon Voyage and Run BTS reacts on there. I've got like 50 or 40 or something like that. Exclusive videos on there. So there's quite a lot of content at this point. I got so much and I was so excited about it. I didn't even pronounce the, the sentence that came before fully because it's just that exciting. You're missing out if you aren't there. Also, please remember to subscribe if you want to get out more of my videos and turn notification bell. And also comment if you feel like it. The comments are down there. I've got a Discord in the description, all that kind of stuff. I've got nothing but love, admiration, and respect for you for turning out and sitting through all of that. That was, oh, that was a lot. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a splendid day. I'll be seeing you soon. And remember, for every person who subscribes, an alcoholic shot I will imbibe. Except I can't. I can't promise that. That's immoral, illegal, something like that. Um, Another suggestion from the chat. And remember, if you like this reaction to BTS being parents, then subscribe to my channel and leave a lot of comments. Hooray.